guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome to Ma Strem de la Strem. It is Tuesday, um, and we are going to be doing some Animal Crossing New Horizons, plus Happy Home Paradise and Chill, so this is going to be a nice relaxing stream. So be sure to grab a cup of tea or hot chocolate or something that makes you comfy. And uh, we're just going to hang out and check out the updates a week later. Uh, we saw this, the last time we saw this was a week ago, so the last time I played this was uh, last Ray. Tuesday. Ray. What the heck? Ray. An immediate raid? <laughs> An immediate raid! Oh my goodness! Alan! Big Alan in the house! Alan, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. You were also playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, so we're super on brand. I hope you had a great stream. Welcome on in, Raiders. I'm gonna go over the names of everybody who's here. Um, but seriously, thank you so much for being here and for bringing your stream community my way. I really appreciate it. Um, also, ooh he. <laughs> Thanks, phone. You know, it happens. Forgot the bee. It, it's totally fine. Oh my goodness. Um, well, let me say hi to everybody and then we'll we'll continue on with the, the spiel, but... Phantom Tempest, welcome on in. Psycho Nacho Man, Cassie H, Armand2017, Stardev94, Water Pixels is in the house. Yo, 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 she95. Coming at you from work. Oh, nice. Uh, Mr. Wario is in the house. Big Pixie, Big Pixel Plume, Alan Edgehead coming in with a raid. Wolf Kaminaria is part of the raid. And uh, Window Meeker. Miker, sorry, I probably said it wrong, but welcome to the stream. Hey, Dizzle, welcome on in. Shoe Jazz, how's it going? Maker, okay. It's just spelled funny. I can't read fun. I can't read anything with an E-I or an I-E, period. Mainly because I'm dyslexic and that's one of the worst things for me. So I'm like, I don't know how to say anything. Yeah, your mom spelled funny. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, but welcome. We're gonna get started here in just a minute with um, some Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm gonna do my dailies and go over everything we saw last week and how it has evolved in a week's time behind the scenes. And then we're gonna go do some Happy Home Paradise designing. Um, I also need to get out one of my Amiibo cards. So let me grab that. Sorry, I have my like pack of cards right here and I always forget to move it over here when I start streaming. But, um, yeah, so anyway, I was saying grab a cup of tea, hot chocolate, whatever you have, water, you know, grab a blanket, get comfy, and we're gonna just have a very chill time, very chill day. Um, I want to give myself a quick plug before we get started. I have, um, over here you can see that I have an Etsy store. I make all of my own merch. I do handmade merch um, through Etsy. And it's mostly crocheted. There's some sewn stuff thrown in there. I don't think there's a whole lot right now, but there's um, a lot of crochet items and then also a lot of crochet patterns if you crochet yourself. But um, currently I have two Animal Crossing products left. I Well, no, I think I have three products left, but um, this right here, I have Cyrus and I have Rossetti left in their little pouches. They can fit an amiibo. They were meant to be amiibo bags originally to put like your to protect your amiibo um, But you can use them for anything and they also make really cute gift bags, but um, as Many of you might be holiday shopping here and or starting your holiday shopping I always encourage everybody to buy at least one handmade item every year and I'm not just saying from me I'm saying in general because I love to support uh, fellow artists and you know represent um, artists in general so um but yeah that's some of the animal crossing merch i have available i also have a villager like backpack that's 
got all kinds of stuff going on with it, but um, please check out my Etsy store if you're interested. So I just wanted to introduce this guy over here. <laughs> but yeah, 2021 is definitely year of the body pillow and year of your mom jokes, or bringing your mom back, as I like to say. But um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. You can use it for Game Boy, DS, 3DS games. I mean, it's just like, they're just cute little pouches. I have several. I have those. I have some that are Banjo-Kazooie themed. Um, and those might be all the- or I have some that are Sally and Jilly that are charity items. So if you purchase one of those, that- the profits from that go directly to, uh, my kitty's vet fund for if they have emergencies or anything like that, or if they need, like, medication. Um, I have just a little, like, savings tucked away for them and- all that merch goes right back to them because I, I want to support them and make sure I'm being a responsible pet parent. Um, but anyway, that's my little spiel just to get us started. Just to, you know, let you guys know what's up with that. Speaking of cats, Jilly's in the litter box, so if you hear strange noises, it's her. I'm sorry. Uh, but we're going to get started here. Last time um, we saw the roost and... What else did we- I mean, we saw like a, most of the updates. It's just been a little bit of progression since then. I think I've since planted a garden, um, done a little bit of redecorating. Um, speaking of Cyrus, oh my god, what a lifesaver with some of the collections that I could never find in the right color to match. I I'd have five pieces, all the right color, and one would be the wrong one. And I'm like, I can't do anything about this, I can't find it. So, hey, and we I'm saw Captain. Stand up yes. straight. Stand up straight. Well, you know what? I was standing up straight. Man, oh my god. Stand like this. Start out. Thank you so much it. for the immediate it. like it. five uh, gift uh, subs. Uh, uh, I'll give them a Reaching that piece. daily sub I'm goal, out. ladies. Oh my goodness. Thank you so so much. Thank you so much, Scott Man. And congrats to Bowser 2 Queen, Trinity Love Fall, Lonerisms, Janella Frost, and Ringra 15 on those gift subs giving it a ba, or giving it all the ba's. Thank you so much, Scott Man, for your generosity. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> I also, you'll notice on the next screen, sorry, why, my voice is like, I don't know if something acidic hey, is I'm good, Dina. but whatever. Stand up straight, stand up straight. You know what? Oh my god, what the heck is this, Psycho? Like this. Start out just hitting it. Hit Psycho, it. thank Hit you so it. much uh, for the uh, three uh, additional gift subs. Piece. Arcadia Free, Dark Choppy, and Wolf Kaminari. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Psycho. You guys are awesome. I really, really appreciate your support. Um, seriously. That's something, uh, you guys know this, I'm preaching to the choir here, but for anybody who doesn't know, I have been um, working on keeping my sub numbers up and but somewhere hovering between 275 and 300 so that I can, you know, keep doing what I love. But um, uh, thank you so much, you guys. Every little bit helps. Every single sub helps, so I appreciate all the gift subs, all the prime subs, all that fun stuff. Um, but thank you so much. Yes, this is my Christmas sweater from um, 2019, I think. Thank you, Phantom. This is my uh, Yeti. The Yeti does sweater fest every year. I talked about this last week because it was going on for like, or maybe it was two weeks ago now. It was like the weekend after um, Halloween. So almost two weeks ago now. But yeah, this was the sweater fest Animal Crossing sweatshirt in 2019. And... I snagged this one because it was so adorable. They had a very similar one last year, so I didn't get it. And they had one this year that was like the frog, um, the frog music notes, like, that you can set at your town hall and for your town tune. And it was Jingle Bells. But I didn't get that one either but because I wasn't a big fan of the color. That was the only thing. It was kind of like a a bright green and while I love colors I feel like I just don't look that great in bright green so I was like ah, I guess I'll pass on it but this is my Christmas sweater for Animal Crossing so unfortunately you can't get it anymore thank you Cassie you can't get it anymore because it was like they're just limited but I think the Yeti is still doing holiday shirts like every day I wish they had them available in sweatshirts but for some reason they don't do that they only do like zip hoodies so I don't know but Anyway, let's go ahead and transition over. You guys will notice that I've added a donation bar down there. Just, I've talked about this yesterday, potentially adding a donation bar for Pokemon Legends Arceus. 
um, because I have seven dollars left in my gaming fund and I figured I'll put it towards something and I'm just kind of you know a lot of the time I'll put those up just like hey here we go this is what donations are going towards now or like to gauge interest of um, how much you guys want to see certain games we're gonna be seeing Pokemon Shining Pearl pretty soon here. I'm just debating when to stream it, whether like from the get-go or kind of in the middle of it. I, I don't want to spoil anything or be spoiled because I've never played it before. Um, but I don't know, I'm just deciding. So I'm definitely going to stream it. I just don't know when or like how, how I want to go about streaming it. Um, but yeah, look at Blue Bear going shopping. So cute. So I have a new villager also, a new neighbor. So let's go. Don't have any big news. Oh, sweet. The maple leaves are out. Well, awesome. <laughs> Spoiler, there's Pokemon in it. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. How could there possibly be Pokemon? All right, so I feel like I don't have a whole lot of these like fall um, whatever they're called, recipes, uh, but we're trying. Prince Hedgehog, welcome to the stream! I know, I can't believe Pokemon's coming out this Friday. It seems like it was coming out in, like, months, two days ago. Okay, Luna! Oh, yeah, I updated my dream. All right, Blue Bear. Do you know really, really hard- wait. I just read that completely wrong. I'm sorry. To my BFF, madam, I feel like I never talk to you. But okay, we'll be BFFs, that's fine. It's, you know, really, really hard sometimes to tell someone how you feel. Face to face, I mean. So I decided to put my feelings in a letter. Okay, here goes. I'm happy you're my friend. Your friend, Blue Bear. <laughs> I like how this whole letter was about how she's so happy to be my friend, and the first thing I said about it was like, BFF, we never talk to each other. Wow, it's rude, sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Jolly Red, I managed to get one of the paintings from him yesterday that's never fake so that's exciting and I can't remember the name of it so hold on a second the moody painting I was like I looked it up and it's like this is always genuine so I was excited about that okay so we're gonna go ahead and do dailies do I oh you know what let me show off a couple things in my house first let me show off a couple things in my house first I also need to put on my uh, thumb brace just to be safe I've been crocheting more and more and getting more and more muscle back so that's good just thumb update yay but uh I was able to customize this fireplace to fit more with the room I just wanted it to be a lighter color scheme not that the brick looked bad it, like the dark brick but um, and I got these bunnies from Red yesterday. He had them in his, uh, shop, so I was able to get the bunnies. Also got- look at this rainbow guy! Look at how cute this guy Royd is! I got this rainbow guy, uh, the other day. It rained, so I had, like, two or three of these guys, um, show up. Oh, hi, Kit. And I took Cap'n's boat and got a third one. But, um, yeah, I think I had two show up and I had a third one that I got with Cap'n. But they're so cute! I keep saying I want to crochet the gyroids, um, because they're just adorable. But I was able to customize my bathroom's furniture so it's not mismatched now. I had a black shower before in a white change room, and now uh, my shower is pink, so it matches everything in here. And then I was able to customize the change room to be pink and blue so that it goes with, like, the, um, mermaid theme in here. So everything looks so much better in here now. Um, I really, really like, uh, I really, really like the, the way it's all come together. It looks f way better than it did. It was like, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, um, there's a lot of great Pokemon in Gen- Oh my gosh, yes there are. A hundred percent, I agree. Uh, see, I'm very familiar with, like, all the generations of Pokemon from the card game. Not necessarily from the video game all the time, but from the card game, which is kind of ironic. It's where I started, though. My roots are in the cards, so... Um, but yeah, you got a real statue from Red yesterday. Look at us both yeah, looking out. Um, I was able to customize a couple things in here, too, although this is the room I'm working on, so it's still kind of... Um, kind of random. So, I'm going to... 
else did I... Did I do anything with my kitchen? I don't know that I really did anything else with the other rooms. I'll run to the basement just to see if I did and I'm not remembering, but... The upstairs hasn't changed at all. It's my- Oh! I have to show this off from Pixie! Okay, so first of all, I have my little drummer back there. I love how that worked out with that gyroid on the wall. Just drumming away. Um, and then I got this pink one as well. Who's super cute. Um, and then Pixie was able to send me this claw machine. So yay! Yeah, thank you, Pixie! <laughs> I'm so freaking cool! So, now there's a claw machine in the cafe, so that's super fun. But yeah, you can come down here and chill. And I'm trying to decorate it, like, seasonally. There just hasn't been anything that I have that really speaks to, uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, whoops. But, you know. I have a, the Thanksgiving fireplace, but there's not really a good spot for it down there. So, oh yeah, I had other things I was gonna try and switch around. Maybe we'll work on that later. I don't know. Let's go ahead and so freaking cool. Uh, let's go ahead and run around. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. I'm gonna start up here just to get my fossils and stuff, and we'll run around the town for the moment. Luna Renee, welcome to the stream. I've been collecting mushrooms, but I really only have like three recipes for them, so I have a million mushrooms and nothing to use them on, really. So freaking cool. Wow, she just did. So freaking cool. I feel like my speakers are going out, maybe, because everything's way quieter now on my computer. By the way, I'm just- yesterday I was saying like, wow, the alerts are quieter than usual, I don't understand. And then I went to- we raided Odin's back, and his stream was like- his streams are always a little quiet for me, but like, it was exceptionally quiet yesterday to where I couldn't even hear. And no one else was saying anything, so I know it was me. And I just had- I don't know, I watched a YouTube video then, and it was quiet, so I feel like my speakers are going out. Um... Which I don't have actual speakers, it's just the monitor. So, and I don't know if there's a way to like... There's probably a way to test it with my computer and have it like... Fix any drivers that have potentially corrupted or something. Cause there was an update recently, so I'm kind of suspicious that it's not just like, Wow, it's old now! Okay. The speakers are going out. Like, I really don't think that's... Plausible, so... But yeah, Siri just dissed that cool, but thank you for the bits. Got a little bit of money. I spent a bunch of money yesterday on um, multiples of certain items and then customizing them with Cyrus. So, like I said, he's been so helpful. Like if you have, for example, if you have the lovely furniture now and say you want the lovely furniture in yellow but your island only sells it in red, um, Cyrus is the one that can like, he can change it to any of the colors it's sold in, whereas you cannot customize it that way, so it's fabulous. So freaking c o o o o o o zero 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 l Huh. Interesting. I don't know why she was picky on some of that and not the rest of us. Uh, rest of us? Rest of it? Sorry. Uh, Prince Hedgehog, thank you for the bits. I don't know, Siri doesn't make any sense anymore. What the heck? You're not allowed to appear in my garden. Get out of here. Um, yes, Cyrus is amazing. I was finally able to get my surfboard in the color I wanted. Yes, exactly. I... I love it. Alright, so I've been growing these guys so that I can get some of the cooking goals. I don't like cooking in real life, so I'm not a big time cooker in this game, but yeah. My uh, my friends and I are doing Secret Santa this year. We do it every year, but you know, we have, we're have we making like wish lists and I worked on mine last night and I was also super nosy like Pixie and looked at everybody's list and so many people have like cooking stuff and I'm like, no, absolutely not. Do not get me cooking stuff. I don't cook. I don't want to be reminded that I have to cook sometimes. Don't do it. So yeah, that's one of the, that's the number one chore that I loathe. But I'm also just not a big foodie. You know how some people just get 
incredibly excited about food. I just don't, I, I eat food to survive. I don't eat food because it's like, wow, I, I'm such a foodie. Like, I don't care. Um, <laughs> give me dessert. I, I don't care, you know? Food is good, don't get me wrong, but it's not my entire world, so. Um, except, you know, pizza is sometimes. Girls, why are we doing the zoomies right now? This is our new neighbor. Whoa, she's not home right now. I haven't seen her running around town, so we're gonna go see if she's here. She kind of fits with the theme I'm going for. So I'm almost tempted to keep her, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I told you guys I want like a country farm cozy little farm town. She kind of fits the vibe because we have a chicken, we have a pig. I'm trying to get a sheep right now. Too bad I can't get Woolio the Coolio, but you know. I'm not good at catching these guys. Oh, never mind. I am. Whoa. <laughs> um, but she's actually, she's a snooty type. I didn't have any snooties before. And she's also um, a throwback to my wild world town. So she was in my wild world town for a bit, which is weird because so is so were Rasher and Goose. I feel like a lot of my favorites... Oh, look at him in his Christmas tree dress. A lot of my favorite villagers actually come from my wild world town. You know, like Pinky's like my all time fave. She comes from my original town, but everybody else pretty much... What are you doing, Kit? Everybody else pretty much comes from my wild world town. I hardly remember anybody in my city folk town, and if I do remember them, I knew them from a previous game. So, anyway, but... Oh, welcome back, Scott man! I'm such a foodie person, I can't stay away from it. I feel like when you have, like, issues, like, stomach issues, it makes you less of a foodie person anyway. Like, there's a lot of stuff I just can't eat because I'll just get sick. Or I'll feel terrible. And that's not really the best experience, so anything that, like, kind of induces that, I'm not... I'm not really gonna get that excited about, you know? So... I had Rosie, I don't remember having Rodeo, I believe you, I don't remember having him, but Rold and Rosie I knew from previous games. Rold especially, I knew him from, um, I did know him from Animal Crossing, the original. Rosie I think I'd just seen on merch, I don't know if I ever had her before. Why are you wearing this coat inside? Oh, okay, they're always giving me clothes that I am not going to wear. Oh, it was Roscoe! I was gonna say, I don't- I don't remember having Rodeo. I mean, maybe I did, but I feel like I would have been more excited about that because he was also in my wild world town. <laughs> um, he was in my wild world town, for sure. Try and catch these maple leaves. Dating Odie has ruined me saying this correctly ever. I'm like, I'll try to say maple leaves, but I'll say maple leaves because he's like, the hockey team's the maple leaves. And I'm like, whatever, I don't care. I don't like hockey. <laughs> so, um, okay, Deirdre was in, uh, Deirdre was introduced in my, oh yeah, I have a deer too. That's kind of fitting. Deirdre was introduced in my New Leaf Town. Like, my personal New Leaf Town. Not the one that I did the Let's Play with, but... Um, Rilla, you need to get out of here. I still really want Rocket instead of Rilla. Why have I only found, like, one fossil? Two fossils. Oh my gosh, he's in his jack robe! Oh no! I'm sorry! He's in his jack robe and he's drinking a coffee. How cute is that? So I didn't realize this, but the to-go coffees uh, work like fruit, where it helps you to, like, dig up rocks and dig up trees and stuff. Okay, let's chat, baby. Um, hold on. I don't want to ruin his robe look, but at the same time I do want to give him something, so we might have to. No, I'm not giving you the moody painting. Wait, these are just pants? This is a skirt. I don't... Okay, I'm not giving you anything. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to give you- I'm sorry! I have to give you something later! Um... 
Dang it, I'm always running and making these freaking leaves disappear, which is not how it works. IRL. I wish Cube still wore his GameCube shirt. Okay, you've been in a slump lately? Oh! Let's do it! I feel like Rald has been the only person to come over like this. Alright, we're gonna have Rald come over really quick. <laughs> Cause why not? Um, oh, alright Angelia, welcome! Welcome on into the stream! Um, yay! Alright, we've gotta show him all the rooms. I could've just waited for this, but... Come on in, Rald. What you gonna do? It's so cute. They'll like pop down and start reading. What? Is he in a kimono? You look like Kikio. What is going on? Oh. Oh, you brought me glasses. Some neon shades. Oh. How cute. I hope you're not just sitting on your pet bed. You can do so much more, like strength training. What? No, not in my pet bed. Alright, Rald, come over to this room. We gotta show Rald around. But. Bopping in on your lunch! Well, I hope you're having a good work day. Hope you're enjoying your lunch. We're just giving Rald a tour of our house here. Um, this is my sewing slash fairy tale room that's kind of a work in progress. I kind of want to change it to be an Alice in Wonderland style, but I'm not sure. Right now it's more Cinderella-ish. Alright, you want to play a game? Oh, let's go. I love how every villager has a deck of cards with them at all times, ready to play. If I ever cosplay as a villager, I'm totally going to carry around a deck of cards with me and play games with people and give out little prizes if they win. Or be like, mm, sorry. But nah, I'm a pro, obviously. Ooh, I get a V-neck sweater. All right. Here he goes. Four. I'm going to say it's going to be higher than four. So let's go high. Bigger. Oh, we did it. It's at eight. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Solid, uh, solid, yeah, thick emote. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. All right. Oh yeah. And I got that little Barbie doll in, um, in Nooks the other day. So cute. Alright, come to the bathroom, Rald. Oh, I took a video of this. I don't know. If, or yes, I did. I posted a video of this on Twitter. Well, the last time Rald came to my bathroom with, with me, he was all about my toilet. Let's see if he is again. Look, he's looking at it. He cannot resist that toilet. Like, he can't resist it. That's, like, the number one thing he goes to my house, is that toilet. Like, he never... You saw him in the other rooms, he didn't interact with anything, but he immediately goes to my toilet. Just casually talking to him on the toilet. <laughs> oh, I feel like I've seen this somewhere before, talking about your mermaid vanity. He was at the bottom of the ocean doing squats, I'm sure you were. You know, Rald freaked out when he locked himself out of his house because his toilet might have gotten stolen. Still hasn't changed. That was like 10 years ago. And here we are now. Here we are now and he's still exactly the same. Oh, Rald. Look at him! He's going! He's going. Oh, he is... Let me see if I can get him to, like... How do I get him to, like... I'm trying to get, like, him to do what he was just doing. I don't know. You know, the first thing that I would steal if I broke into somebody's house as a crazy person would be their toilet, obviously. I don't know what you're... I, I don't know what you're talking about, Phantom. Isn't it super easy to steal a toilet? Alright. 
Come on, Rald. We gotta get off the toilet someday. We, we're not gonna stay here the rest of the day. Jilly. She's in the litter box again. Alright, you guys know how much I love my kitchen. We'll go show Rald the kitchen. But yeah. Um. Yay. But yeah, I forgot I put that guy in there. The guy above the door. Oh, cute! We'll sit down to dinner together. Um. It's like Thanksgiving with Rald. Perfect. Alright, these are like the perfect photo ops. He just wants to come over and chill. Torterra Bite, how's it going? He tried to leave your island? Rald tried to leave? No, that's not allowed. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Yeah, Rald's not allowed to leave my island either. Alright, let's see if he, like, plays the claw machine or something. What you gonna do, Rald? Come on. So yeah, I have another stand that I could use instead of this one. Uh, to display the cake and stuff on. But... I haven't tried it yet. I need to try that later. You gonna start singing? Another room to show me. I'd love to see everything. What? You're not gonna comment on my fabulous drummer? Oh, sweet! Aww. Alright, last but not least, let's show them the last room so we can get moving on, but... Um, that is the donut print that's just one of the, um... Pro prints, whatever it is. Not, it's not designed by anybody, it's part of the game. Like, when you can design furniture with, like, certain prints on it. The, or patterns, I think. It's one of the patterns that's included in the game, but I love the donut pattern. Oh, he gonna get cozy. Christmas time with Rald. Yay. Um, Quincy Crossing, welcome to the stream. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Yes, uh, the, the Rald has a, a, like, frozen interior. It's super cute. And so does, um, Sprinkle. I have her in my other town. Wow. Alright, Rald, we gotta go. <laughs> oh. G Mario, welcome to the stream, too. Okay, are you done, Rald? Alright. Usually he's like, okay, I gotta go. There we go. Your house is so comfy. I mean, you can move in. You can move in with me, Rald. Come on now. Um. Your sad sprinkle is part of your first five, so you- Oh no! You didn't get to see, like, her real home. It's so cute. Oh, that sucks. I know. I had, um, Kiki as part of my first five in my original town, and, um, Go or Goose, or not Goose, Egbert. Egbert was too, and I didn't get to see any of their, like, original homes, and I was super excited to see them. Oh, those are fun. Okay, well, I'm gonna put these back on, but I am going to put these in storage, because... Fabulous. Let's see what this v-neck sweater looks like. Quite literally like a v-neck sweater. Okay, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Although, you know, I will keep the sweater. I finally upgraded my storage, too. That was something I was working on, but just hadn't gotten to yet. Um, oh, Kit, get that nip! <laughs> Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not planning to reset it. I'm just planning to, um, you know, I don't really know what my plan is for it. I, I still want to kind of theme it a certain way, though. I don't want to reset it and, like, start over. I just need to theme it, and I want to change some of the, the people in it to be, like, different than what they are now. I mean, I'm kind of doing the same thing with this town. It's like the fun of Animal Crossing is having random people every now and then. 
And it's like, I love so many, you know, you can't have them all, and we've seen a, we've seen some for a long time. It's like, I don't, <clears throat> I'm not one of those people that I'm like, okay, I have the ten villagers I want, I'm good now. Like, I, I want to try the, try, keep trying different people. And keep growing. And I can't find this last fossil. And as soon, every time I do this, I immediately find it as soon as I get them identified. Like, after I've gotten them identified. This is still my favorite yard, is, um, Rasher's. Rasher's whole yard is my favorite. It's so cute. Now are you in over here? Cody's yard is pretty cute, too. I just don't like the exterior of his house right there. But I'm hoping to unlock that eventually with, um... Happy Home Paradise. Casanova, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. We're just trying to find my last fossil and then we're gonna move on uh, because I wanted to have all the fossils before we go see Brewster. I already ran up, up at the top of the hill too, didn't I? Ugh, oh, come on. I'm not seeing it, if you guys see it, feel free to shout it out. Cause... Oh, there it is. Okay. Over on this random piece of land that I didn't go on earlier. Because why would I? Yes, that's why I'm hyped for eventual ability to remodel villagers' homes. Exactly. I, and, you know, I've switched out enough. I don't have any of the, like, original generic designs anymore. So that, that wasn't... That's not a problem for me, but... Some of the designs are just like, eh, I would rather this looked different, you know? Or that it matched the exterior, like, idea that I've had. Something like that, so. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get these identified and then we'll move on to some of the new stuff. Sorry, it's been a, you know, we've been taking our sweet time, I guess. Oh, a hydrate. Thank you, Armand. Okay. We haven't even stopped in the shop yet or anything. But Rald asked to come over, so that kind of delayed things. Alright, so we're getting our fossils for the day. I need to donate that painting that I bought yesterday. Um, and I guess, from what I've gathered, the vendors on Harv's Island change every week, it seems like. Because I think they all had the same stuff for a week straight. Which makes sense. I mean, I kind of wish it was every day. But... You know, maybe that would be too easy to like cycle through everything, you know? He took that moody painting, right? Okay, every Monday. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think it's weekly. Oh look, Tia! She drinking tea? Am I selling the rest of the stuff? Yeah, I sell the mushrooms. I have too many of them already. All right, we're gonna drink some tea with Tia. I, I'm pretending like it's tea because I don't like coffee, but well, these girls are just passed out on the floor now. They were running like crazy. Oh my gosh, speaking of tea, I have that same, like, I used that same honey in my tea today that I used yesterday. I put a little too much sugar in, though. It's a little too sweet, but... I had it with pigeon milk yesterday, and I got a recipe from Brewster two or three days ago now. Oh, Jilly. Two or three days ago. I can get to-go coffee. I kind of wish it did not. I mean, I like the convenience of it affecting you to be able to, like, destroy rocks and dig up trees. But at the same time, I kind of wish that you could just casually drink it, like, in New Leaf. And it didn't, like, make it where you're going to go destroy things. Um. Yeah, the only thing I haven't made is the mushroom partition. Which, that's, like, I need more than these things, so... Um, okay, hold... What was I looking for? Oh yeah, the Brewster thing. Yeah, I got Brewster's Sable Cookie Sub... Sub... I don't know. I don't know how to say that, but... Isn't that cute? Okay, how do you make sugar? Or where do you get sugar from? Is that like another thing of leaves? Of oh, sugar cane. I don't have any of that yet. Okay, well that answers that question. Never mind. No wonder I haven't gotten it yet. I'm like, what makes sugar? Obviously sugar cane does. 
All right, what y'all say? Don't ever tell Brewster I told you this, but I'm pretty sensitive to heat. I let my coffee cool way down. That's cute. All right. Um. Well, Brewster is adorable. But yeah. Oh, you can find them on Cap'n Islands. Oh, good. I was like, why can I not do this? One Speedy Yoshi, welcome on in. Okay. Um, yes. The toilet, that is what I'm talking about. And the toilet can remove it, but I have to, like, run all the way home and use the toilet after I, like, you or, or drew, I just don't want it to affect it, is what I'm saying. Like, I want to just casually look cute with my coffee. Um... Oh, what's that? Oh, get out of the way, Cody. What the heck? Oh my god, this is one of those pieces! Yes, girl, that's one of those pieces like Monique had. Oh, that's the first piece like that to show up. Yeah, mine is foosball table too, because it's cute. I'll go ahead and take these pieces with me to Harv's Island. That's where we're going to go next. Sushi is super cute, too! Yes, give me the sush. Okay, I'm just moving this around so I don't accidentally... Oh, it's a dish. Okay. So I don't ac accidentally um, sell something weird. You got the black version of that table yesterday? Oh my gosh. I love it. I love all that elegant stuff, and like I said, I have yet to see any of it, so... When I buy sushi IRL? I mean, if it's, like, supposed to translate, like, yen, then it'd be $27, which... Again, no, I would not, but I could see other people doing that, because I would never eat $27 worth of sushi in one sitting. I am, I, I have, I, my stomach is not very big. I went and got sushi with my sister and my mom last weekend. And I just ordered one roll, which, or one order of sushi, which was six rolls. And I could only eat four of them with the rice I got. I was like, oh, I'm already full. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, that's true. $27 for premium sushi is pretty dang good. I don't, Brie was here, uh the other day and she was talking about ordering sushi and how like one of the places she wanted to order from was way more expensive than that. Um, I, was like, I love the wooden patterns. Go ahead and buy those. I think everything else I don't need or I've seen before. Is it weird you've had sashimi but no I wouldn't say so. I mean I just started out with like the rolls. Um, and that's what I like. I don't like just, I, I don't want it just by itself. I want it in a roll. Okay, so now that we've done that, we still haven't seen the new neighbor, Naomi. So, that's cool. She ghosted. She ghosted. If you put, well, I personally love pineapple on pizza, so if, I feel like sushi on pizza would just be kind of weird. I mean, to each his own, put it on the pizza, but, like, I love pineapple on pizza. Okay, you know what else I love is sautéed pineapple with, like, soy sauce. So, so good. So, so good. Wow, I can't believe you have bad taste! Listen, it's not my fault that you have wrong taste, one speedy Yoshi. <laughs> But it is! It's Bree's birthday today! I uh, I meant to say that earlier, but yes, happy birthday, Big Bree! I know she's celebrating her 30th today, which she's not really 30. She's, like, the same age as me. But her 30th birthday versus my 30th birthday, like, I actually got to see, like, family and celebrate with somebody, whereas she just didn't get to the option, so she feels like... She, she was like, I feel like I kind of missed it, so... I'm celebrating it this year and I'm gonna turn 32 next year, so you know, it's fine. I was like, alright. Alright, for her birthday we should get her band. That sounds like a great gift. Also, I must have gotten all of Harriet's, um, hairstyles because she is not... Hi, Julie. She's not sitting in her normal space. So I've since unlocked all of the vendors here, so we have, uh, kicks. 
Crazy Red, Leaf, Cyrus, and Reese. Tortimer, Acorn, or whatever. Um, Sahara's in my town today, or else she'd be here. And then we have Katrina. So, I think the most valuable of all of these is actually Cyrus. I know a lot of people probably feel like red is more valuable because art is so hard to find. But, uh, seriously, Cyrus is the most valuable to me, I think. So... Alright, and he has new stuff. He was on my island yesterday, so I actually did not see what he has here. Uh, do I have this moving painting? I don't know. Give me a closer look. Okay, I don't know what the, uh, the moving painting, real versus fake. Moving, whoops, painting. Animal Crossing. I'm looking it up. There they go. There go the girls. Oh, this is fake because it has flowers and no trees in the background. Okay, so that's not what we want. And then the other one I think is fake too. Just looking at it because I know his eyebrows are supposed to go down. And I think they're, they look like they're going up. I mean, scary painting. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me take a closer look, though. I wish he sold some of the furniture he has. Oh, yeah, that's 100% fake. His eyebrows are going the wrong way. So, both of those are fakes, unfortunately. That's not um, helpful. Are you okay, honey? What happened? Julie. <laughs> Rigged. And Cyrus is the blue alpaca over here. That's Cyrus. Yeah, I got most of Kick's stuff yesterday. I'll show it off, though. Show you guys what I have. So I have restroom slippers, wrestling shoes, paw slippers, kitty socks. I got this class purse. We have a basket bag, whatever the heck that means. I think it's supposed to be like a basket woven, but like it just sounds really weird to call it a basket bag. Wave print socks, sheer socks. Sakoshi, maybe, bag. Dreamy backpack, I 100% got that, and an extra large backpack. So that's everything he has. And then let's see, Leaf had... I thought Leaf's stuff changed every day, but it must not. That must have just been my imagination. Yeah, he has tomatoes and wheat today. Which I already have. I need to get um, sugar cane, obviously. I'll show off Cyrus in a second. Um, I am gonna collect my daily acorn for, from Cornimer. I'm sorry, he's Cornimer during the fall. This is Tortimer. It was super cute being introduced to him again. He's like, I'm retired, but I'm bored, so I'm doing this. Um, okay, we're gonna go put those away. And then we're gonna see if we can get the other stuff customized. First, though, let's talk to Katrina. She's my newest person. I did a friendship measure with her yesterday um and it's really cute because she'll talk about like certain villagers you can pick which villager let's go with uh let's go with rasher because he's one of my newest that i've bugged non-stop all right she's gonna consult her Chris crystal about her our friendship with rasher we should write him like a funny letter or something I never write enough letters. I love Katrina, how cute she is. She like a panther. She got a lot more high pitched in this game. Steven, welcome to the stream! We're just getting our friendship read between us and Rasher. Okay, she sees something. See many faces before me in Rasher's consciousness. Oh, and there is your face. And again, and again! Perhaps 20% of the faces I see are yours. Um, I'm known quite well. Oh, wow. So we're becoming really good friends, is what I'm getting from this. Oh, did you notice that Katrina said in all caps back, like she said her name in all caps backwards? I never noticed if that's the case. That's... Oh, it's the crystal knows all. No, I never noticed. That's kind of crazy. 
Shall I bless you for 10,000 bells? I mean, I don't even know what that means, so sure. That's a hefty price, but we'll see what it means. <laughs> oh, cool! See, yesterday I asked about Tutu, and it was like, your friendship is th the strongest it can be with Tutu. So maybe she's blessing me with, like, a strong friendship with Rasher? Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh. Alright, what's my blessing now? That is all. I hope that my crystal will guide you as you strengthen your friendship with Rasher. Goodbye! Interesting. Girls, could we maybe not do that right now? My cats are going crazy. Alright, well... Time to potentially customize things. So, this is why I think Cyrus is, like, invaluable here. Uh, we have the elegant console table and the foosball table, both of which can be customized. So, I bought this in pink with no cloth. But look, now we have all the color options. Isn't that amazing? I mean, I love the pink, so I might not do anything with that. Okay, let's see. Pink roses... Blue roses. Oh, those are cute. Botanical. Oh my gosh. The gold is what, um, the gold is what, what's her face had? Monique. So that, when I collect more pieces, I'll probably decide then, but I'm going to keep it for now. Um, just the pink. But yeah, then this can become brown, dark brown, or blue. I like the blue one because it's more arcade-ish. So I'm actually not going to have him customize any of these things. But what's really nice too is the combination of Cyrus and Tortimer are the best because then you can literally get any, out of, any item out of your storage and have Cyrus change the color of it. So that is like so, so super helpful. Um... You know what, I might get one of these gas ranges out and see if you can do anything with that for my kitchen because I think I just have like a silver one and there might be a better fit. Um, but yeah, if you want like multiple of the same item in different colors or anything like that, it's just super helpful. And I don't think I have all the patterns for the puppy either. So we can try and look at that those just like randomly appeared in your shop or they randomly appeared in the shop at Christmas time I don't know if they'll do the same thing this year if it'll be new items or what but cotton candy swirls Cyrus is the reason you return to AC not having to run back and forth between people's island yes exactly that's why he is like a lifesaver I'm like oh my lord and yeah, even if just you want to see all the different colors of certain items, too, it's great. So yeah, there's no, like, minty color, so... I like the white, too, but I'll probably just keep it the... It might be white in there. It's either white or silver, but whatever it is, it looks fine. I'm just... I was curious. I don't think I ever got the pink puppy, the gray and white puppy, or the tricolor. I'm gonna go ahead and get the pink. Um... But yeah... So, okay. I have a lot of items stored. I feel like I don't have nearly as much as a lot of people because I just now upgraded my storage to like the very first update, like upgrade. Um, let's put those away. But that was all of them together, so it probably looks like a lot like that. But yeah. I also had a lot of this stuff outside. And I probably could clean out a lot of this, or it's like from previous room designs that I'm probably not going to do again. Um, so, you know. Like, all these panels were from, like, outside. I pro I'll probably start going through this and giving some of it away to my neighbors that I know I'm not going to use. I always save these boxes for when I invite um, campers into town, because they'll always want the freaking... 
you know, they'll want something cardboard for some reason. I also have multiples of things that I don't need to have multiples of. Or like, I really, you know, like I would have every color of one thing and it's like, I don't even need to do that anymore because then I can just have Cyrus customize it. So that kind of saves that whole shebang, but yeah. Anyway, you currently, you're currently at 2,600 items, so the extra storage is well appreciated. Yeah, for sure. I just upgraded to, I think I was at 1,600, or I upgraded to 16, I don't know, something like that. I may have upgraded past that. But, um, let's go ahead and go to work so that we can... Check out what's on um, Happy Home Paradise. It's expensive to upgrade your storage. It was like half a million dollars. Or sorry, half a million bells. So it's not cheap. Look at the little blue jay. Ooh, who do we have today? Okay, we have some pretty fun faces today. We have... <gasps> What's the chicken? We have Ty Balt. Um, Becky. Becky's super cute. I like Becky. Sherry. I could have a whole island of chickens. I keep trying to get my sister to do this, and I feel like I should just do it. There's uh, Peanut. She's a classic fan favorite. And then we have Rio. Ooh, which is Rio's very fancy. And then I'll show you guys my little catalog so far. So, so far I've done houses for, um, Megan. She wanted a dreamy thrills, dreamy thrill, a place for dreamy thrills. Her house is adorable. We'll have to go visit her because it's like totally my aesthetic. It's all, um, pastel and cute and plushies everywhere. Bye, Angelia. Have a great rest of your day at work. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love Becky. Oh my god. I love her too. She's so cute. Um, Rio looks like she's covered in rainbows. I, I've, we have a lot of like very colorful characters on our island today. Seriously. Oh, Rio's the new villager in the update. Oh, she was in GameCube. I never saw her in GameCube before. That's really cool though. Tybalt's adorable. So many, so many cute villagers today. But we have Vesta. She wanted a home with a fireplace. Pudge, I got a picture of him on his golden toilet. I don't really like how his house turned out, um, but I, I did it right after I finished Monique's home, which was like the greatest home on the planet. And his had a lot of the same furniture, but not the elegance to it. And I just was not really a fan. And Apple was the first one I did after Eloise. So Eloise was our, you know, classic. And then um, I also redid uh, the school, and I named it Queen University because, you know, Lost Pimp, and we all call ourselves queens now, so I was like, all right, we'll make it Queen University. So that was a couple days ago, um, and we'll go check that out because it's right out here. So, um, but yeah, I designed the school, yes, no, two days ago. So that would have been the most recent design, would have actually been this school rather than an actual villager home. So we'll probably do a villager home or two today. Unless she's like, we need another facility, but I can't see that happening, like, next. So look at all the kiddos in school! So all, all of the villagers are in school now. Monique isn't here, but everybody else is. She was here once, though, and I uh, was like, mm, Mr. Pudge seems so old, or something like that. It was really funny. What? Why are you staring at the w out the window? Shouldn't you be, like, teaching your people? Oh my gosh, Pudge is getting a big head. From teaching. Oh, thank you for this Plumeria start. <laughs> your classroom- my classroom's way cuter? I feel like I was like- I don't know if this is too boring. I mean, I do like how it turned out, but it's very, like, typical classroom and I was like I wanted to do more theming with it but you know the game didn't really allow it because you had to have certain things like these really nasty desks um like it I added all these cute desks 
And then it was like, you need two desks. So I had to add this trashy one with the pet hamster back here. I'm like, what the heck? Why? And I just have like a little bathroom in here, but there was no sink. So I'm like, okay, well, we're not sanitary, but at least it's there. Um, and then I did the accent wall with the lockers in the back just to try and make it like the kids have lockers. Oh, shoot. No, put in the, put the VCR in. Okay. Or turn on the VCR, put the tape in. There we go. But yeah, so this is the classroom, and I meant to have Eloise be the teacher, because she seemed like more of a teacher, but then I accidentally selected Pudge, and then it was actually pretty funny, so I just left it. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to pick Pudge, he just happened. All right, let's go in here and get designing for somebody. We've done a lot of running around today, so. Uh... I should put down at least 10 of the little muscle guy. What little- what are you talking about? What little muscle guy? Look at how cute this tea set is! Oh my lord! Ooh, we have to get that. Okay, we'll have to get that. Is this a- A decorative pillar. I was like, is this a chimney? What the heck? There's a big speaker. No. I need this. I'm gonna save it for that tea set. There's the Barbie doll I bought in Nook's, Nook's shop. Not that long ago. Alright, we're gonna go to work. Um, I think you can change teachers. I think, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I would imagine you can change, like, everything else. D yeah, Eloise just has the teacher vibe. She really does. I was going to make her... She's, like, the biggest, too. So... I, and I thought, oh, I could do Monique, but she'd be like that teacher nobody likes, you know? I want a place to practice the choir group I'm fo- What?! Oh my gosh, yes. Place to enshrine my sweet bet No, absolutely not. We're not gonna go sports. I want a place showing off blooming flowers. You want a place that reminds you of America? Fitness every day. Okay, now. We are 100% going with Becky. We're going with Becky, little Jill. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get Becky on in. Because you know I love all the chickens. Um, I got a double of my Ava amiibo card. The last pack I purchased. And I ended up giving my duplicate. I put it in with... Uh, my sister's birthday card last month. Oh, how fun! Oh, this will be a fun one. This is like a music room. Okay, yay! Okay, I love this already. <laughs> yeah, Peanut, when did you get to be so patriotic? What is this about? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, so place for choir practice. All right, let's see. If I were in choir, which I am, where would I most enjoy going to practice? Ooh, that's kind of a fun one. Let's do this one. Then it can be like the sound of music, you know? We're in the mountains. Um, yeah. And before giving it an R, yes. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Uh, America? Like, that's the theme you want? How bizarre. I don't know. I've never- I've- Is it like American flags everywhere? I have no idea. Does this happen to people who are not American? Okay, I'm gonna start with... Uh, okay, great. I'm gonna start with the exterior of the house. Because I want- I. I always make the mistake of not doing this first, and then I can't change it later. Um, we could have like a big... Ooh, that's fancy. It's like a straw roof. You know, kind of like the, the Chinese theater. Mmm. Mmm. You guys know me. I like everything girly. What do I want to do for... 
kind of like the blue. Mm. That could be an option. Let's see. Um, well, I kind of like that. I like that door. And then what about like a very uh, regal door plate? All right, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's add some more trees around here. Okay, we're gonna work on the outside of this later. I'd rather go in and start there, but... The house is already so cute! Thank you! Like I said, I want like a... The, the, the Chinese theater vibes. And I unlocked um, the ability to change the shape and size of the room. So that's really nice. And I'm probably going to want to utilize that for this, given the fact that there will be instruments and they are rather large. So I feel like I want to do that. And then you can also change the hallway. Um, let's see. Why don't we... We'll do like brick walking in. Okay, then... I'm going to... Oh, I need to look at the order. Whoops. No, what are you doing? I don't need... I mean, I might need more than one music stand, but... Okay, hold on. Let me decide the color of the walls and stuff first. What are you girls doing? Why do you have to fight all day long? Ooh, skyscraper wall. That's kind of fun. Wow, mountains, starry sky. Oh, wow. These are all added for this, too. Or just the classic chocolate hallway. I feel like I'm, I'm very much a classic concert hall kind of person, although it would be kind of cool to have, like, the city is what they're facing or something. Um... I kind of like the skyscraper. I kind of like this too, because we're like up on a mountain. I can always change that later. Though. Or I can make it like... Yeah, why don't we make it the windows? I like that better. Okay. Brick floor. Ooh. That actually looks kind of cool. What's this? Sahara Desert? No. Very fancy, very busy. I don't think I want something that's too busy. Oh, that's nice. I want something like warm. Ooh, I like that too. I like just the common flooring with it. Okay, what was the other one I liked? I feel like I'll do something either black or tonal like. Okay, let me try these two. I'm gonna just use the common for now so the instruments stand out a little bit more. It does look like a concert hall, doesn't it? I love it. And then let's do black. I feel like the piano needs to be... I wish you could... I said this last time. I wish you could angle things like... Or have things at an angle. Um, I'm gonna put that right there. Um, conductor is usually facing. Okay, where's the, where's the other stuff? Antique bureau. There are so many instruments. Okay. I like the upright piano too. All the, all the pianos. Oh, the gong. Ooh. Okay, hold on. I want a brown gong or do I want a red gong? No, that looks like a 
No. Okay, we're gonna take this stuff away. I just wanted to see it. Okay, I'm gonna try and make it like a classic orchestra. Sort of. I say that, and then I immediately am like, oh, let me pick all these in weird instruments. Um, oh yeah, there we go, with Rasher's face on it. Um, maybe that with... Ooh, the theremin. No. Maybe, though. We'll, we'll try it. We'll try it before we buy it. Okay, I want all the instruments to be black, I think. So that way if I try, like, the the floor or whatever, um, it all kind of goes together. Okay, oh my god, I love the cello. That's, I love, the harp and the cello are, like, my two favorite instruments. Well, do I want it to just be natural, though? I feel like I don't like the color of the drums being black, either. I feel like they need to be a little bit more of a contrast. Is there like a fun pattern I could... <sighs> no. Okay, I'm just gonna have it be plain for the moment. And I absolutely love classical music. That is probably my favorite music genre. If I'm being honest, those are, like, the only co concerts I go to. It's so funny. I've been to, like, you know, I, literally I could count on one hand the concerts I've been to uh, that have been, like, an actual, like, you know, pop artist or band or whatever. But, oh, honey, I could not ever count how many classical concerts I've been to. I love them so much. Okay, I feel like, I don't know that I'm going to use this. But the drums, I wonder if I could do the same thing I've done in my own home, where I have the drums kind of in, I feel like the gong would be off to the side. Where's the violin? Why do I not have a violin in here? Oh, I think it's like a smaller one, isn't it? Yeah, the violin is smaller. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these natural for now. Don't be surprised by it! We also will have this guy to keep time. My mom and dad had one of these growing up, and I always played with it, and they'd be like, no, don't do that, because they both played guitar. Um. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone here. Why is this antique bureau a thing? I want, like, an audience. Do I have, like, pews or something? Can I make this, like... I might just have to add weird seats for now and change it later to be, like, better seating when I get, like, more furniture. Um, I always played with my mom's metronome, too. I didn't know what it did, so I'd be like, wow, this thing's cool! And it's like, that's not what... No. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, the... Okay, I'm just gonna put all the instruments out that I think I might want, and then go from there. I don't know that I really want anything electric. Ooh, bubble machine, ooh. This seems really stupid to have a stereo in here, but I think that's the only way we're gonna get music to play. Ooh, this is kind of fun. This must be a new item. Imperial. I don't even know if I'm going to use those, but like I said, I'm just getting out every option just to see what I want to do. And there's like no chairs. I mean, other than this garbage. Gross. Who wants to go see a concert and sit in something like that? Why is a wheelchair part of this? I mean, I guess like, not to say like, oh, you can't, but that's just like a... I feel like with the instruments and everything, that is a strange choice. Oh well, represent. That 
is not the one chair that I would have thought they'd- Oh, they added these, too. Okay, well then we'll have, like, one. Black seat. Okay, cool. Just gonna turn these around. Do I have, like, a white wheelchair I could add? For, like, the handicap seat? No. I'm clicking the wrong buttons. Okay, no. I guess that's kind of cute, though. It, like, took into account, like, not everybody is able-bodied. I like the colorful. I think the beige is gonna look better in here. Alright, wheelchair seat. There we go. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put those right there. And I'm gonna put the partition in between the piano. Oh, wait, you know what? The con One of the concert halls I've been to has, like, a partition to the side like this that works as, like, the wing. I don't know that I'm really gonna like that, though. It's the only thing. So I'm gonna put it where it was. Okay, to partition off the piano. Okay, now I need to figure out... I kind of want these drums over those, unless I can have that. Uh... <clears throat> the... whatever it's called. Gyroid. Uh... Oh! Goldfish! Yeah, Kit! Okay, hold on. Um... Log. That's everything I have out? Or I put out? Okay, where are the choir robes? What? What? Okay, this is not a good way to look at this. How do I find- are, are there none? There may not be any. I don't think that gyroids have been a thing yet. Okay, we definitely want these to be like a... Well, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so if I put one on each panel, that would be kind of cool. We need to go up higher, though. Kit, I don't know. There we go. Um, they would be in Other if they exist. I don't- I think I went to Other and I don't think they were there. I feel like no one has asked for like a house with- yeah. No one's asked for a house with them or anything, so they're just not here. Oh crap. Oh well. Kitty is very curious. She is. Do you guys hear her yelling? Oh Julie, you got cozy back there. You were denied- your only concert opportunity for your graduation party you didn't even want? What? Also, Bowie, I'm sorry. I didn't see you come in. Welcome. Welcome to the Strem de la Strem. We're trying to design a concert hall. I need a fancy little table, too. And I'm going- Oh! Oh! Here we go. Antique console. Because this is where we could play music, too. Again, that's really dumb that we'd have, like, a stereo, but I think that's the only way we're actually going to get music in here. Okay. I can have this like that. Okay, I'm getting this wood partition out of here. <laughs> that goldfish just being there. Deep Looper Sea, I don't know if I said hi to you. Welcome. If I didn't, I apologize, but welcome on in. Okay, get the harp up here. Clarinet, sax. Violin's always pretty close to the piano. Okay. I feel like, ooh, we are not, yeah, we are not in line here. Here, get the sax on the outside. I'm just trying to represent Odie. Because that's what he plays. Okay, I kind of like this mix. Okay, I could maybe add those back in later. But let's go ahead and... Man. Do I want just a single table for this? <laughs> oh, Becky's poster. The phonograph's probably 
the best thing. And then we have the the graduation gowns. Mage's robe. We don't have an actual choir robe. We just have all of this stuff. We have a wizard robe, mage's robe. It's a Harry Potter choir. You can't- it- Soulful KK. That's what I'm talking about. We need to be like in pews. Uh, what was I looking for? A little table? Okay, hold on. There's gotta be a little table in here somewhere. Um, there was no microphone either. This is for a choir and I literally didn't put any microphones down. So, sorry game. Can I- I don't think I can put anything on this? No, I can't. There's no way I can do that. Oh, what about this, though? I could just do the podium. I wanna have, like... No, what? Come on, now. Like that? The metronome in front of it. I think that's fine. Why can I not back this there? I was like, why is this not backed up more? No. No. That looks stupid like that. Yeah. Yeah! Okay. Oh, thank you! Okay, I when I stare at it for a while, I'm like, does this even look good anymore? Okay, I gotta duplicate these chairs to be our audience. Um, how do I want this? Stop! Why is this going the wrong way? Okay. There we go. We could be all spaced out. And then I'm sure there's like a rug or something I could use. Okay, I know there was a faster way to do this. I'm sorry. Okay, cool. I feel like these need to swap. Why is that off? No. Okay. Um, now let me look at the rugs. It's like recommended rug. No. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. What I do, I've done several A Night in the Life of Me, like various times. I. I haven't really been doing anything like that, so I've, like, as of late, so I'm not really planning on doing anything like that again. Um, at least not anytime soon. I mean, I'll never say never, but... Oh, yes. Okay, this is good. I have kind of, like, the red... No! Don't, don't move the stuff I'm not trying to move here. Okay. So that kind of separates the audience. Do I want one in the middle? Uh, well, kind of. It looks like a stage that way. Okay, hold, hold on. Try moving these back. There we go. Now do I have- I need lights. I need those little floor lights if I have them. If I don't have them, I'm gonna have to come back. Do I have them? No! Okay, I- you know what I'm talking about though. I need those floor lights to go on the front to look like the sta- Oh, there it is! Never mind, I have them. Okay. Perfect. Now. Why is this doing this? Okay. I've got to even them out. It's not even. No. Stop messing up the lighting! Okay. 
That is not spaced out right, is it? <laughs> okay, I missed one. There we go. There we go. Look at that! Look at how good it looks! Okay, that's for the conductor. Um, so there's our audience. Oh, it's looking so good! Okay, let's, um... Let's add... Shoot. Okay, let me see. Shy Guy for days! How's it going? Yes, this is the concert hall for Becky. You got it. We love Becky. She's so adorable. I'm gonna actually put her in an outfit. Before. I always forget to put them in a different outfit. Okay, mages. Ooh, she looks pretty good in that white mage's robe. She looks like she's ready to hit the stage. Okay, hold on. What all do we have here? Yeah, I like her in the- I like her as the conductor, like in the white mage's robe. Which is a- <laughs> How about a bathrobe? No. Okay, we're gonna put her in that. I got like a little- <laughs> Oh, so fancy! Okay, hold on. I need to see if- Oh my god, that looks so cute. Okay, she has to have that. Um, yes, that is what I'm saying, is yes. Yeah, let's have those glasses. <laughs> yes, we love a wheelchair accessible concert hall. At first I was like, why did they add a wheelchair in here, here? And then I was like, oh wait, that's so thoughtful. Like, listen to me being like, not very thoughtful here. Like, oh, that's such a good idea. So, all right, we'll put her, no, 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 do not get out your book and read. Is this not facing the right direction? How do I get her to, like, not face this way? There we go. All right. Oh, what? <laughs> no way! I didn't know they'd do that if you sat them down and then... <laughs> Oh my god, I had no idea that was a thing. I honestly had no idea that was a thing. That is amazing. I'm like shocked right now. I can't believe this. Yeah, Becky's the one putting on the concert. Okay, I need to- I don't think I'm gonna do anything uh, Oh, you know what? I might do the curtains on the side. That's what needs to be like on the side, maybe. Um, for, like, acoustics, because I know that's definitely a thing. I'll try a chandelier, but I'm not going to guarantee it, because uh, it might just take away. Silver? Do we not have a black chandelier? Oh, wait, this chandelier is black. Hold on. Okay, I can't believe she's playing the piano. Yeah, I know for, like, acoustics, a lot of the time there's, uh, no, 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 what am I doing? There's, um, drapery like this. Nope. Oh, there we go. I need one more than I thought. I can't believe how good this is turning out. Because I was worried for a second. Why can I not see this? And why... This is what happens when you can't... No, 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 no. This is what happens when you can't see it. <laughs> uh, I cannot. I can't get over her, like, playing the piano. I also love the Our Yes pixie. Or, sorry, Our Pog. Not Our Yes. You said that earlier, but... Um, I'll try a chandelier up there above the stage. I feel like it doesn't need it, though. That is not what I wanted to do. No. Okay, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take the chandelier down, because I'd rather it just had the lighting on the sides. Here, 
Okay, this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take the two back here away over the audience to give it more of a stage vibe. Because that's too much. There we go, that's more of like the stage vibe. And then maybe we could put some wall stuff. I don't know what the wall decor is. Um, what's this? A mounted neon lamp. I don't know that there's anything else I really want to add to the wall. Okay, if there was like framed sheet music or something, but I don't think that's a thing. Oh, we could add an exit sign, though. If there is one over here. I know there's a hanging... Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, hold on. Because this would be in a concert hall. Yeah. Fire hazards, gotta know. Yeah, because on stage, you always know you always know where your exit sign is. And if you dance, you're probably spotting it. Okay, I'm gonna just try some artwork on the wall and see how it is. Big Odie, how's it going? <laughs> We're making a concert hall for Becky. I added a sax just for you. And, um, all right, when do tickets go on sale for Becky's concert? Because I'm going. Me too. I'll let you know. I'll let you know when those concert tickets go on sale. How big is this painting? Too big. Perfect painting. Ooh. No, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Doing stupid stuff. Okay. Okay, we'll just try and add some Van Gogh in here. The solemn painting's the one that's too big. Alright, we'll add Becky's poster and see if we like it. I feel like she needs to be closer to the stage, though. Okay, I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. <sighs> okay, I'm indecisive. Hold on. Take it off. Maybe we could add something else on the side, like a candle or something. Hmm. I think I'm liking this better. <laughs> I cannot decide. Okay. Oh, wait. I just had another idea. Okay. Sorry. This is taking me forever to figure this out. But I got, what if we did like a decorative? Like one of these on the wall. So it looks like part of the wood, but it's just, no, but it's just decorated differently right here in the audience. There we go. That separate, <clears throat> that separates the audience now from just looking exactly the same as the stage. So it looks like it's part of the wall. Also, thank you for the follow. Uh, Philo Joe, welcome. You used to watch me on YouTube like 10 years ago. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for stopping by the stream. Um, I'm always happy to have longtime viewers in here, so I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the chat. Well, Bill the Fajita is here too! What's up, Bill? Oh my gosh, I am loving it. I love Happy Home Paradise. So cute. We're just finishing up a concert hall for Becky, who was playing the piano. I'm gonna make her play it again. Is that not the most precious thing you've ever seen? I can't. I cannot get over it. Okay, we gotta take a picture of this. Okay, I am not going to be part of this picture. Um. Hold the phone here.
This is just so cute. It kind of has like concert and church vibes. It's because it she wanted a choir hall, but it's like all instruments. <laughs> okay, I think I like that photo the best. Okay, I think we are good on this concert hall. Oh my god, I love it! Oh, okay, I have done nothing to this outside, so I'm gonna add a path really quick. Um, I'm gonna add a- <laughs> I love it! Can Becky play other instruments? We'll try it. We'll try it out. I, I just want to add, like, a- a path here really quickly before we say, okay, we're good, because right now the outside's kind of dull, and we don't want it to be. Okay, so I need this, and I want the stone to match... Okay, so there's our little path there. That's that. Oh shoot! I don't. I'm gonna see if I want this thicker or not. It makes more sense to have it thicker. Can I change this? Uh, to be a little bit more. I feel like the stone staircase is better. Okay. I mean, I don't need anything crazy on the outside, but I do want some greenery or something i don't know but um imagine beck that beak playing the clarinet or saxophone we're gonna try it we're gonna try and see if she plays other instruments when we go back in but okay so we added all of that um Okay, I feel like we just need to have like, um, maybe lighting and I kind of want it to be nighttime too out here, like you're going to see a concert at night. So let me go ahead and add the lighting and then change the time of day. So, I'll have a little floor light right here. Um, and let me add some bushes or something, just greenery. Uh, okay. There we go. Maybe we'll have like, yeah, like that. <clears throat> Let me put like something fun and musical out here, maybe. Uh, if I can, what's on the order list? There we go. Flower stand. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I didn't think about adding flowers in there. I don't know that there's really any room for them, though, is the only thing. this out here <clears throat> maybe just add something cute okay let me see how do I I don't want that right there. It looks kind of weird. Okay, I'm gonna... No, 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 no. I'm gonna try and change the time of day now. 
be like... Ooh, that one was pretty. Oh my god, that one's really pretty. I think we'll do that one because the ocean looks so cool. Yes. I love that. Okay. And... Let me see if I want lighting down here. No! Like down here where you're walking up. Mm, I don't think it's super necessary. Let me see. I know these are all different colors too. No, if anything, I would have one where it just... I didn't mean to take that one away. I would have one just right here. Maybe I'll do that, so like when you're walking in. Okay, let's go back in here one more time. Thank you for the bits, Cass! Um, and then let's see if there's anywhere we can add like flowers, although I don't really think... Well... Okay, we'll try it. We'll try it just to see. Whoops. Like these little guys. Um. I don't think it's necessary. I mean, they're pretty, but I think we've got enough going on. Okay, I'm gonna try and put, uh, Becky next to... Come on now. Will you play the harp? No? No? She's like, I'm not playing these other instruments. Alright, fine. Alright, I think we're good though. I think that's it. Alright, how's my vacation homecoming? It's ready. Oh my god, I love this so much. <laughs> I love her vacation home. It's so cute. She's ready too. Like, look at her. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, so cute. I take a video of this. Look at her up on stage. Oh, yes, girl! She's conducting. She's conducting. Oh my god, I love it. Oh! Oh my god, she's so cute. If only she went over to that piano and played it, that would have been the most amazing thing ever. Okay. Yay! Alright, I got a photo already, so I'm gonna get going. Oh my god, that was so cute, though. I love that. Um, and King Gamer Host Yoshi, welcome to the stream. New name, huh? Well, welcome on in. And now we can buy our tea set with that. Oh my gosh. So I went from earning 6,000 a house to now earning 9,000. And when I did the school, I earned like 25,000. So it's really fabulous. Um, I'm gonna say I'm finished for now, just to see who's out there. Um, and because I, I don't know if this lets me buy stuff when I'm just me or not. It must, but I want to go see who else is out there. Um, Wardell! I know he's so cute! He is so cute! I love Wardell. Oh, we have, um, we have Lionel again! I bet he's gonna want, like, a kingdom. Oh, Leaf! What's Leaf doing here? Oh! Oh, he's supposed to give a talk about flowers at the school? I love it! Oh yeah! Let's go, Lee! 
All right, we're gonna go take Leaf to school to give his lecture. Oh my god, so cute. So, so cute. Wow, Eloise just falling asleep in class. Oh, I'm sitting next to Apple! Alright. Today I'd like to talk about flower hybridization! Ooh! Fun! Aww. So cute. <laughs> Um, you get pink tulips, baby. I know my color wheel. I know my art basics. Yeah, high leaf! Our high! Alright, everyone will now be able to decorate with- Oh, nice! Oh, awesome! I'm glad that the hybrid flowers have been added. Yay! Look at all these flowers in that picture. Oh my gosh. Nice. Alright. Well, I'm glad we can add better flowers. One more thing. You can use the fruit veg fruit trees and veggies you've grown. Oh, cool! Oh, nice! I can make, like, little gardens for people now. Well, that's fun! Ooh, you got some pizza! Nice! I'm gonna get some pizza later. I wanted to get it last night, but I didn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I had leftovers, so it's like, ah, uh, save it for a day when I don't have something. Alright, well now I can use hybrid flowers on my clients. I'm really confused because Peanut wants an American house. And I don't understand. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I really don't understand that one. That's kind of funky. Um, but let me go ahead and visit some of my previous clients' homes so you guys can see them. So, and maybe get some inspiration. I know I always get inspired by seeing what other people do. Yeah, a roll in an America house. Exactly. Oh my god. So, we're gonna go to... Oh my god, look at how cute! I love it. I absolutely love it. I feel like we have to do the America house just because it makes absolutely no sense. Um, but let's go to Megan's house because you guys are going to love this one. Oh, this show's like up close. So here we- these are the ones I've done so far. I'll show them one more time. So we have a place for choir practice, a place for dreamy thrills, home with a fireplace, my pretentious palace. That's the only one I do, I'm not really a big fan of. An elegant Euro pedater. Which I think is, like, the most amazing. Uh, my own apple orchard and my relaxing reading room. I actually like the outside of the apple orchard, as you guys saw, better than the inside. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and visit Megan. Because she's a new bear. She's new to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Not the newest expansion, but, um... This is her house! She is super cute! Um... And after this, I'm going to take just a quick break, too. So I'll show this off, and then we'll take a quick break, and then we'll probably design another house. So I put her in the, like, pastel, like, cute sweater. I tried to give her more of, like, a classic design home because I thought it was, like, a cute little throwback. Um, and here we go, inside her house. <laughs> I didn't either, Shy Guy, and I had just done Monique's, and it was all like the same stuff except kind of tacky. Look at how cute her house is! It has all the cute vibes! It's very much like a Fairy K style, which is just the best. And I absolutely love all these new like pastel bears and everything. I was like, I need all this furniture. I managed to get the, the stuffed rabbit from... Uh, red yesterday, but I just need the other stuff now, so um, I absolutely love this. And you guys, I'm gonna actually take a break really quick, because I think I just had a package delivered, and I don't want any pirates, so I will be right back, um, and I need to go to the bathroom too, so we'll come back to this house, I just don't want to risk anything, so sorry for the hasty BRB, but I will be back in just a few minutes.
Okay guys, I am back. Thank you guys for joining me. I just had to take kind of a hasty break because like I said, I had a package delivered and it was from Walmart and like Walmart doesn't deliver stuff like in boxes. So it's like everybody can just see what it is. And I had porch pirates last year. Long story short, I don't want anything stolen. So, and I had to pee. So I also did that. But anyway, <laughs> welcome back. We're just checking out some of the houses I've, Where's, where did I put my brace? Sorry. I like put this over on the, on my couch for some reason, but it was not Donna this time. No, it wasn't delivered by DoorDash for, you know, whatever reason. Whereas that was even scarier because Odie had a video game delivered and it was like, um, you're just going to sit this outside the door with no packaging. Just there it is. Um, but anyway, we were checking out some of the villagers homes that I had designed um, off stream and this was one of them. This is Megan's house. She has a super kawaii house. She wanted something pastel and cute, which I am very much into the pastel cute vibe. So that's, this is what she ended up with. And this is before I could change the size of homes. Actually the first home I've done since being able to change the size of anything, it has been the one you just saw, which was Becky's. So, um, but yeah, her house is super cute, super fun. But yeah, hashtag Donna DoorDash. And the outside of her house, I just made it like very cutesy and like with little playground furniture, but also just like fun kind of summery vibes. So, but we're gonna go, we're going to head back to the island. We're gonna design one more home. Um, is there anybody else's house worth showing off? Let me see. Uh, worth showing off right now anyway. I don't really think I've done... Oh, this one's cute. Let's go to Vesta's house really quick. Because Vesta's a cutie. But, um... She wanted something cozy with a fireplace. So I have, like, kind of a wintry forest uh, kind of vibe going on. And I didn't want to do a ton to the exterior. But, um... You know, so. I'm so freaking. Whoa! <laughs> Failure. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. Thank you for joining us. Welcome, raiders. I th I th I'm guessing you say it as failure. I mean, that sounds kind of tragic and sad, but I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing that's what, what you're about. Okay, I'm sorry. I've had, like, pronunciation issues all day, so. Um, you were also playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. I can call you Faye. Okay, that's easier. So, welcome, Raiders. I'm Madame Wario. We're just playing some Animal Crossing New Horizons with Happy Home Paradise and having a chill time. You don't have the DLC? Oh, my goodness. Highly recommend. But even without the DLC, like, the updates are fabulous. So, I mean... I, I have to applaud what has been what has been added but I had happy home designer when it first came out and I always really liked it so I'm glad that it's now part of this game too but you gotta get the you gotta get the DLC um, but anyway welcome Raiders D blue welcome on in here again I imagine Madame Wario I am um, I am a mostly a Nintendo variety streamer, very, very partial to Mario Party as of late and always. It's my favorite series, but also been throwing in some Animal Crossing. I'm a huge Animal Crossing lover, and um, I started streaming it again once the update came out because it kind of got to a standstill, you know, where there wasn't a whole lot to do other than daily stuff. And um, But now we're back. We're back and we're doing all new stuff. So I'm very, very excited for this update. But thank you so much for the raid. Um, yes! Um, I wish they would have done more quality of life updates. That is the number one, like, I, I hate to be somebody who, like, complains about anything with it. It's like, I love what it, I love the game in general, but I just wish that they would have added, like, cart feature to, like, the Able Sisters and an easy way to clean up flowers and stuff. They did fix some things, but not the main things, so I'm like, let's go, quality of life, come on. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> thank you so much I'm glad you checked thank you for checking out my Etsy store I really appreciate that um 
I love another passion of mine is crocheting and sewing. And so I, I love making my own merch, but look at how cute she's just having a fun time. This is Vesta's home. Um, she was playing with a rocking horse, like, nonstop. Oh, she's gonna start playing with it. Oh, she's so cute! I really like Vesta. I really want a sheep in my town. And no, I don't want Curlos because I've had the Curlos curse forever. Oh my gosh, she is so, so cute. Okay, that is not a good angle. Oh, I can't get over here far enough. No, 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 no. Okay. Hopefully she will start playing. No, no, you're going the wrong way, Vesta. Oh, well. Um, but yeah, I, I really like how her home turned out. And again, this was before I could change the size of the rooms. So it is what it is right now. But um... <laughs> you got Dom. Dom is a cutie, too. I thought Dom was a girl at first because I didn't see the, the name or anything. He's like a meme, which is so funny. My favorite sheep is Petro, which I have yet to see him anywhere. He's not appeared on any island for me. I don't know what that's about, but my other favorite sheep is Woolio, and he's not even in the game. And they haven't added him to updates. I'm like, where's Woolio the Coolio? Come on now. He was like the really stylish, like black sheep with the sunglasses and like the fancy like rainbow from the original Animal Crossing. And I'm like, can we like add him back? <laughs> Please. I did find Dom on an island, but I I knew a lot of people that had him, so I passed him up for my own island. But I I think I'm going to possibly add the Sanrio sheep. Oh, what is this? Oh, yes. Oh, sweet. Now we can do the amiibos. Yes. How perfect. Oh, this was just- this is perfect then. Okay, good. Well, now we can do amiibos. Which is fabulous. I'm gonna stick to just random encounters for the moment, though. Um, Marching Band Nerd Gamer, welcome to the stream! We're doing very well today. Um, you remember being obsessed with Cherry on your DS? Oh my gosh, I have so many villagers from my wild world town. What is with you girls lately? I, sorry, my kitties are insistent on chasing each other today. Um, oh my god, yes, we have so many uses for the amiibos beyond the camper now. A hundred percent. Okay, I don't really know what this fun reminder of America is. <laughs> so we're gonna find out, because I'm really curious. I mean, I am American. Yeah, Lionel, the king of bathrooms. He just had a big bathroom. That was it. I want to live in a bathroom. You gotta go? Oh, no problem. Well, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. What is this, like 1950s America? We've got, like, diner vibes with cherry pie. So weird. <laughs> you know, marching band, you just missed the, uh, the concert hall that we made. Girls, can we not smack each other like that? Please. Jilly looks so offended. Okay, what's the most American look? Um. Hmm. I mean, I guess you could say there are different places in America that may look like this or that, but. Okay, those have more European vibes to me. I'm gonna go with this one. Actually, hold on. Let me change the season, possibly. Okay, no. I am gonna keep it the same season. Never mind, it's fine. Diners are lovely! But do diners just scream America? Is that- look at Monique back in the background playing with that beach ball. She's skipping school to go play on the beach. I see how it is. I guess Peanut wants a diner, but I- I don't know. Um, marching band, I got Eloise as my first villager. I heard that if you have her in your town, you there are like 10 other characters you can get. If she's like one of your residents. Um, I guess, let's see. 
I'm gonna add some more fencing and stuff to this because... Oh, Peanuts Americana Museum. Okay. Yeah, Monique's got the right idea. You're right. Okay, I'm gonna change up this to be... Hmm. Maybe like the classic style like this. I don't think you can do... Oh, you can do siding on it. Never mind. This is the kind of house I have. Okay, let's do like a a classic looking home. I mean, I could be like, wow, red, white, and blue, but that's kind of like dumb. Or not, it's just boring. I, I want to do something different. What a bizarre choice, though. These are... Maybe I will go with the red, white, and blue. Alright, hold on. There's... Mm. <laughs> okay. There we go. Very, very American. Every American's home is red, white, and blue. Just so you guys know. It's not true. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Do we have, like, a fun... No. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it like that then. Let's... Well... I kind of like it over to the side, maybe. Let me do the path first. So that I know where I'm going with this. Let's do a brick path. So it all matches. I don't like where these stairs are. No, 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 no. Maybe that's better? That's not bad. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add a fence because I always forget to add fencing to anything. And I feel like it needs to be a very classic fence. We could do the classic white picket fence. So. That's not what I- I tried to like take a piece of the fence away and it wouldn't let me. <laughs> it would not let me. Okay. Uh, no? Why does it keep doing that? How do I remove it? Oh, I guess I was just hitting the wrong button. I guess? I don't know. Okay, no. I don't know how I was hitting the wrong button, but I was. Maybe we'll have like a garden on this side. A little vegetable garden. And... Okay. I guess we'll go in that way then, because it's not wanting me to do what I really want to do with this. <clears throat> okay, I don't like this roof color. Uh, we'll do the classic red roof. Oh, that's cute! Oh, I like that. I like that better. Okay. It looks like an elf home or something. <laughs> I don't know. It just looks really cute. 
Um, <clears throat> I could do like a garden down here too. So let me get my, uh, whoops, let me get my um, dirt, get my dirt out and yeah, we'll put a little garden down there and maybe a little, uh, uh, okay, we're, we're gonna wait on the garden up here. Okay, plants and hybrid flowers, we're good. Okay, we've got the classic trees. Um, do we want to... Oh, Cass! Thank you so much for bringing us up to an even $10 with that donation! Oh my goodness, thank you so, so much! Uh, you just made me three years old again. I hope you enjoyed the three-year-old Bobo! Oh man, I gotta give you all the boss. Thank you so much for contributing to Pokemon Arceus. I'm giving you all the misses, all the miss stars, and then let's give you some fun ones. Let's give you some hour sip. Oh, I'll give you some stacky hype, some pride worlds, some hype mine. Um, and some Gingies, because we're heading into the holidays, so. Oh no, I reached my character limit? Oh shoot. Hold on, I gotta take some of these off. There we go. Okay, I don't know if that went through twice, but thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that, Cass. And I think Water Pixels, I think that would be, uh, that's such a good idea to do like a flag out of the hybrid flowers. You are a pro. Oh, let's try it. We should try that. Because I really like how this is looking now. This is a lot cuter with that, new, like, other exterior. Okay, let's try doing the best we can with this. If I have, like, oh, it's going to be a little small, but might, well... We're, we'll, we'll attempt. We will attempt it. P for pro, exactly. We will attempt to be P for pro. So let me go to... Okay, I feel like it's like all the... No, 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 no. No, I always put... I always hit the wrong button. Thank you for the follow. Um, I always hit the wrong button. I need like another, I need it to be like longer than this, but this is the right idea at least. Um, so then red, let's do red roses and blue high, blue, sorry, white. Okay, hold on. I swear I'm always hitting the wrong button on this. I mean, this is like very, there are more than three stripes, but there are 13, so I mean, this is close enough, right? Three, 13, whatever. Well, the white picket fence kind of makes like a white, like look at how cute that is. Very cute idea. And then we'll point, we'll plant like crops down here. We'll make this like a, a vegetable garden. So we'll plant some wheat, some carrots, some tomatoes. Let's do another wheat. I like how it's all mixed up too. I'll do some pumpkins too. So actually, can we do uh, white pumpkins? Cute. Okay, that's cute. I like that. And I like how it's all just like, well, do I like how it's all random? I don't know. Hold on. Let me try it. Here, we'll do this. We'll make it all even. We'll make it even, because my brain is telling me, like, mmm. <laughs> Wonderful! Even better than Mama! Yeah, shout out to Water Pixels. That was such a good suggestion. I wonder if I could do, like, a little dirt path that goes to this garden, though. Um, or even, like, a little stone path. You know what 
what I mean? Because there is room behind the house. I'll try the dirt instead. Shoot. No. Come on. Try the... Or maybe... Yeah, like the lighter. It's cute. And then I'll add like a couple bushes. Okay. Change that up so it's not blooming on that side. Whoa, no. Let's make that even. Okay, and then if we can fit like a little... I like to add the bushes at the front too, but I don't know if that's too much. See your tree. No. And no, you're not going to block the path. Maybe I'll leave it blank. Okay, I am going to take that bush out of here. It's easy to get really picky with this stuff. Um, okay, I keep wanting to add like a lawn chair or something, so. F for fancy! Um, let's do, is there a white? Oh! Perfect! Yes! So there's like a little lawn chair so she can like enjoy her garden. I kind of like this time of day and everything. I like how it makes everything look. I think we're good on the outside. I think this looks good. So um, let's go ahead and go inside now. Let's go ahead and go inside because we probably have a lot more to do in here, but I'm loving the outside so far. That house is actually really cute. Like that's how I want my house to look for 4th of July. <gasps> Oh, we're getting the partition? Wow. Oh my gosh, yes. I've been waiting for this moment. I have been waiting for this moment. Oh, maybe a barbecue? Water pixels, look at how American you're thinking right now. I love it. I know that sounds really weird, but like that is actually a really good idea too for outside. So we'll we'll go back out there and try it. Oh my god, yes! I'm so happy! Okay, now we can add like... <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we can add like a kitchen area or something. This is so cute. I can't believe it. Okay, let me open this stuff. We're open! Ooh. Okay. I love this song, by the way. Okay, hold on. Let me go back outside really quick and see what else is on the on the menu that we can add. Um, whoops. Hi, Kit. Whatcha do? Whatcha do? She yelling at me. I don't know if you heard, you guys if you girls heard that if you ladies heard that. Wow, look at this covered wagon. This very um, like. America of yesteryear covered wagon. <laughs> Alright, we'll have some historical elements here. Okay, when I- I wasn't thinking like old world America, but... What are these pants? Western pants? Okay, no. You're in the wrong country. Hockey is not big here like it is in... Canada. I'm sorry, but that we're not talking North America here. Unless you are, but I'm not really under the impression that that's what you were saying to me. Um Well, rocket ships are super American. Let's see. Perfect. I am not putting this out here. Oh, maybe I will put it out. I mean, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Are we talking Oregon Trail? I don't know. Um, yeah, I just need a Walmart sign, exactly. Okay, what was I looking for? A barbecue? It doesn't look like they added one, which seems like, um, excuse me, but missed opportunity. 
Okay, where's the storefront? Oh my god, this is ridiculous. With the wanted poster. Like, what is this? The West or? This just seems so bizarre. Okay, I'm taking these out because that's too much. I am leaving the rocket ship in since we apparently didn't get a barbecue. Sorry. Kit, you saying hi to everybody? That's what she said. Okay, well now we can... What, baby? I love that we can do these partition walls now. Except I feel like this room needs a heck of a lot different shape. You do too, Kit? Let's do that. Because if we can have like a little diner on one side... Can I like... Yeah. I'm like, can I add a wall to this? Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Again, I don't really know why a diner is. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Okay, so. I don't know. We're gonna go with the booth. Do we need more? I feel like we need more than one booth, though. I guess I could separate it and make it, like, a diner on the one side and a kitchen on the other. Like, where they cook the food. You know? That could be kind of a cute idea. And I kind of like the red. Can I squeeze this? Dang it. Oh, you know what? This is, like, way too close together anyway. Okay. This song's gonna get stuck in my head. Oh, no. Hmm. Guys, if I could actually press the right button, I would be winning. Okay, there's no redesigning of that. Hmm, maybe I do want this to be like that then. I can't redesign the other stuff. Okay, I need a table or two. Oh, that's way bigger than what I was thinking. Okay, hold on. There, that's better. Yeah, the table's too big. And it's like, yeah, slide on into that booth. Okay, let's do blue. Ooh, let's not do blue. It's too dark. Let's not do that. Um, but yeah. Oh, shoot. You were expecting more lovely furniture? Listen. Oh my. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, anyway. Let me go ahead and put this cherry pie down. Hi, Julie. Put it in the middle of that table. What can we put on this table? Oops, I'm going way too far over. Okay, glass jar. I'm gonna put some of this stuff for in the kitchen. Oh, how fun! <gasps> A, a jar full of yarn? I mean, not in here, obviously, but... Okay, we'll do the salt. We'll label it. Again, I'm not putting this stuff on the table. I'm just... Canned fruits and veggies. That's the one. We'll stick with that. Okay, so 
So these need to go in the kitchen, like on a countertop. And is there like a menu? Hmm. Ooh, pizza. Oh, bread. French fries. There we go. That's American. Okay. Bread. Let's go put fries on this table. And cherry pie. Ooh, that sandwich set is kinda, that'd be fun to go with the fries. Go ahead and do that. Why can I not do this? Okay, perfect. We'll do the cherry pie and what else? We need like a slice. Or not? Oh, here we go. We can do, like, a drink. Melon soda is not American. That is highly Japanese, I can tell you that right now, but... Um, but yeah. Oh my god, words cannot express how much I love bread either. Why not widen the room? I did widen the room. I, I want it to stay like this so it's not too crazy. Um... Okay. I want it to be cozy. Maybe if I do like a big table. Like over here? And then I put the jukebox right here next to the, the door or something. Oh my god, seriously? Here's what we're gonna do. Here is what we're gonna do. This. Or not, because it's not letting me just do it that easily. Um, I love how you can go like diner style or you could do like old America, which is insane to me. So ridiculous. Alright, pancakes and it's our neon diner sign. Wall shelf with bottles. Huh. Okay. There we go. Pancakes. What else? I could have the chips. I could have this other apple pie. Sure. We'll just do that. Maybe I'd rather do stools, though. Like, the bar stools. Then it doesn't look as bulky. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. Okay, let's go ahead and check out... Ooh, cherry lamp, ooh. Oh, don't grab the wrong thing. You could have it be like the, the cherry theme diner. Okay. And... what else? Mm-hmm. Skateboard wall rack? Um, I guess if you feel the need for that. Oh, fun! Oh, those are fun. Okay, that's a little bit more exciting than what I was thinking. Just have, like random crap on the wall. I feel like we need lots of records over here. So let's go ahead and do two days ago. Um, KK Gumbo, KK Disco, DJ KK. Alright, hold on. Let's go ahead and do this like that. And then we should also have like posters. Hmm. Just 
trying to make it kind of like, you know how in diners they'll have like posters of random crap all over the place sometimes? Like very eclectic wall art. I don't know if I like that or not, but, and I can't put anything, it said I can't put anything on the partition, right? I feel like there just needs to be more, maybe. Yeah, maybe if I make it like that. A little bit more chaotic. Okay. Um, wish you could hang the we're open sign. I know, it takes up so much floor space. That's why I'm like, I don't really want that sticking out. There's this chair over here. Okay, now let's move on to the kitchen space. Um, so we'll do the counter table. Ooh, this I don't know. Okay. If I do that, I don't know if I have like a fridge and stuff. Hmm. I should have copied it. Crap. Oh well. It's fine. Hands. And I need my stove, baby. Hopefully there is a stove or something. There's this brick oven. I'm thinking that it does not have. It has a snack machine. Barrels. A bike. Very bizarre. I don't know. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a work in progress. Again, this might just be one of those where I have to come back with something. Um, let's see. Let me just pretend like this looks better than it does. Um, I wish home design in real life could be as easy as in this game. Me too, yo. And that you had all the options. That's the other thing. You don't have all the options, usually, in real life. Oh, Kitchen Island. So that's a little bit better. Okay. We have, like, the kitchen island like this. So we don't have a fridge. That's the one thing we're missing. And maybe I do want... Oh, wait a minute. Did this give me the option to do... The brick? No, it didn't. Okay, fine. Then we'll change this to match. Because it's not giving me all the options. Although, I don't know that I like this as much. Okay, no! What are you doing? Okay, get this brick oven thing out of here. And let's go ahead and add some more uh, food items. Bottles. Okay. And what else? So yeah, we haven't even tried with the wall or anything yet. do red. I'm doing a lot of red in here, but... Can you blame me, guys? Okay. I am 
something like this in The Sims too, where I hate when it's like not in line on both sides. Which is probably a bit of a personal problem, but yeah, like I just hate when it's uneven. Oh, I hate when it's uneven. Is that uneven? No. It's not. Okay, there we go. That looks better. Um. Okay, let's go ahead and mess with the- America's so red! Let's go ahead and mess with the walls. I keep pressing the wrong button, sorry. But we're gonna mess with the walls and stuff. Okay. Lockers, curtains. Cute red wall! Ooh. Um. There we go, pink diner. See, it looks chaotic. Western Vista. I really don't like any of these walls for- I mean, I guess the pink diner is like the- It just looks kind of stupid with the red. What about, what about the blue stripe? Or just blue paint. Ugh. I'm not really liking any of these, to be honest. Um, you know, that one's not bad. I think we've already used that in a house, but whatever. That's better. Oh, oh boy! Flagstone flooring! It's kind of cute. Blue rubber flooring. I kind of like the blue flooring though. I do like the blue flooring. Okay, see that's coming together more. It's looking better. Okay. Why don't we do this? It's just random, so... Put the posters up high, so they're all in line. Okay, now we just need to do stuff for uh, the walls over here. Again, this is not my favorite design, but it's also not the worst, so I should keep the black for that. And a little fan up in the corner. And add broom and dustpan. Again, not all this is going to go behind that wall. It's just that I'm putting it there for the moment. Put that up in the corner. Stop doing dumb things. Come on. Another wall. There we go. Um, I almost don't have enough. Okay. Let's make this look that great. What about the key holder. Okay. Yeah, we'll just try and put like, you know, I, I'm thinking like, oh, notices. There we go. None of these are exactly what I want either. There's boating. I... No. Okay. Hold the phone. I feel like I just need, like, more going on in terms of the kitchen, but I just don't have a whole lot yet. Okay, lastly, let me go ahead and look at the carpet, because I feel like, you know, to be fair, this theme is kind of weird to design for. It really is. It's really like, what am I doing? Wow, we've got Hawaii stuck in here, too. I mean, yes, that is in America, but I don't really think that's the, uh 
most that's not like that's not like majority American representation. Okay, I do like that rug over there. The cowhide rug is kind of ridiculous for the diner. Which I do not agree with this. But it matches. Do I have like a welcome mat? Um, yeah, I need like a little welcome mat for the entrance there. Which I thought I have something somewhere. Oh. Thank you for going in a spot where I literally can't move it easily. Why would it go over there? No. No. A wood floor sheet? I mean, I guess. No. No, no, no. A white exercise mat. Yeah, I just don't have enough, uh... About the closest thing I have right now and it's not good all right I think we're just gonna have to stick with this which I mean it's not bad it's just not my favorite I'm going back and forth on those posters too we should doors and windows it a little bit Maybe I like that better. Okay, I think I'm gonna call this a house. Oh, apples, very American. Totes. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna try and make these posters different. All right, I'm just gonna leave them like that for the moment. And I'm also going to put Peanut in a different outfit. Oh, you know what? I can add some of the diner stuff to the wall. What is this hippie stuff? Okay, cute. Let's put her in the, let's put her in the blue uniform so it matches her a little bit better. And then we can also put her in Oh, cute! <laughs> I like the lunch service. Oh, look at the little top hat! I like the lunch service hat, though. And I just love putting them in the glasses, because it just looks so cute. I like the round glasses for her. Okay, she's gonna look like that. Um... What was the other thing I said I was gonna add? The diner uniform and stuff. Okay, I might as well add the blue diner uniform for contrast. And then let me add a couple of those caps, because that's pretty funny too. I think our clothing library is taken off. Oops, I'm passing it. How does that look? Not good. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> uh, okay, hold on. I'm almost done with this. Just driving me nuts. Is there anything else I can put up here that's Sweet hockey mask. Super American. Okay, no. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna use the one. We'll do that one too. There we go. It just looks weird to me though. I 
think I'm just overthinking at this point because I'm going insane with this theme. So I'm taking that away. I'm leaving the other one by the trash because that's how I feel about this theme. And we're going to um, do the entrance too. What was the other thing? Okay, yeah, we'll do the red one. All right, there we go. We've got red, blue, and some white, and a bunch of other crap. <laughs> she looks like a lunch lady. I know, cowhide rugs are so ugly, though. I mean, I love the keep them on the cows. Don't, don't do that. It's just, we needed something tacky in here. Scott, man, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for the gift subs earlier. Again, I really appreciate it. Let me see if there's something different than the cowhide rug, because you're not wrong. I mean, there's the red carpet. We used that in the last design, too, but that doesn't mean it's not going to look good here as well. Alright, that looks better. I agree. Alright, Peanut, we're done. I am done with this house. So... Oh, you know what? I feel like we should have done this on the outside. Because the outside is the best part of this. You know. Uh, Kazan's BF, welcome to the Stram de la Stram. Oh, it's Mr. Rosalina. Oh, nice. Another, that's the second name change in here today. Welcome on in. Her little lunch lady vibes. Oh, that's cute. Wow, I can really see. This is a great view. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I should have gotten a- I'm gonna get a picture of the outside instead because this is just not my favorite. Okay. Okay, well, come out here and we're gonna take a photo out here because this is far better. Yeah, the random zoom in on the wall of all things. Okay, I'm gonna put her in this chair right here. And hello. How do I get myself out of here? Okay. Oh, that's why, because I was not on the camera. Um, no, what are you doing? How do I get myself out of here again? I know there's a better way than this, but... Okay, that's better. That is a better representation. All right, we're ready. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna use this one instead because it just looks a lot cuter. <laughs> I like that better. Um, I pressed the left control stick and it didn't do it. Maybe I didn't, I, I think I did it on the wrong menu though. Okay, can I leave now? Run back here. Oh, I can't run back here. Really? Oh, well then that makes this whole little path here pointless, but whatever. We're gonna leave it as if it works. As if there are like doors going into the house. Alright, I'm heading back. Cool. It's a fake path! I'm sorry! I didn't realize it was fake. But it is. It's fake. Sorry, guys. Oh, Jilly, you're so tired back there. She's so sleepy. Alright, well, we did Peanuts Home. Got 9,000 Pocky for it. Um, and I'm going to... Um, ow, sorry. I'm going to... Oh, what? Oh, he's probably gonna add the, like, partition walls. 
which is super cute. It was just, that was such a weird house to start with, with a partition wall, because I really didn't need one. You know, I could have just made it like a huge diner. Um, or a, a little diner or whatever, but it's like, you know, I'm not gonna not use it on the first home it offers it on, so. Um, okay, but I think that's gonna be it for today. So let me go see if there's anybody new out here and then we'll call it a stream, probably. So... Oh, you know what? Oh, whoa! It's Octavian! There is one more thing I could show off. Because there's really not a whole lot to it. Um, so I'm gonna show this off really quickly. Which it requires me to... Um, go home. So, let me show one more thing off, and then we will get going. But, uh, yeah, we did two houses today. We did one of my favorite ones I've done yet, which was Becky's Concert Hall, and then we also did uh, Peanut's Americana Home just now, which, again, is such a weird choice, but especially for, like, a pink squirrel. Like, um, interesting, but... No. Okay, let me, um, I'm gonna have to run, Oh, look at Blue Bear with her coffee. I'm gonna have to run home really quick to get what I need for this. You know, pretty soon we're gonna have to start, um, decorating for Christmas. I know my, my, uh, Halloween stuff is doubling as both Christmas and, er, Christmas, both Halloween and Thanksgiving, because it's all pumpkin-y, but... Okay, let me go to the other stuff. Oh, I didn't visit the Abel sisters either, so we'll do that as well. Ha, oh, this is what I want. So I have these souvenir chocolates and I didn't realize that they actually do something. I thought they just made your villagers like you a little bit better. So I'm gonna use those. Um, and then, sorry, I'm looking for my, I thought I had, there they are. I was like, I thought I had Taylor's tickets. <clears throat> okay, cool. So. <laughs> I saw a lion that wanted a house full of toilets. I think it's, a, uh, I think it's Lionel who was on the beach there. Which is just ridiculous to me. Sometimes it's good to take those jobs even if you don't want to, just for the sake of unlocking all the stuff that it adds. Yes, the chocolates do something. I'm gonna show that off as soon as we're done here. I'm, I just wanna see if there's anything new in here other than this sweet clown suit. Okay, which isn't new. That was already in the game, but... Okay, let's go. Um... No, no. So ridiculous. Okay. Okay, I'm not seeing anything in here that I want. Never mind. Never mind. We're not going to use our Taylor's tickets today because I just really wish there were more options at this point. But this is news to me. All right. Well, I was very excited to discover this and I want to ask Rasher because he's got, look at his little outfit. Okay, this is for you. Um, so I'm gonna give him souvenir chocolate. Souvenir chocolates! Um. Okay. Maybe I ought to check it out. Wanna go right now? Yay! Alright, we're going. We're going to the island together. <laughs> So if you give your villagers souvenir chocolates, you can invite them to go on an airplane with you and go to um, the Happy Home Paradise Island. Which I didn't know they had a function until I just tried it the other day. I just thought it was something cute to do with your villagers just to give them to make them like you more. Um, but... No, it actually allows you to bring them to the island. And I don't know that you can, like, design a home for them this way. They just, like, are running around on the island. And it's really, really cute. 
And he's already got his Hawaiian shirt on, so it's perfect. Aww. He goes running. <laughs> oh, you can design a home for them this way? Oh, that's awesome! Look at him singing! Oh. Well, I didn't even realize that because when I last came here with Tutu, I ended up doing somebody else's home anyway, and then when I came back, I think she was gone. But, um, oh, you can give them to other villagers in other towns as gifts? That's so cute! But yeah, they'll walk around and skip and have a fun time once they're here. But yeah, that's awesome. You can design their homes this way. I didn't realize that, so that is fabulous. All right, well anyway, that's gonna do it for today's stream because I am getting hungry. I need to get going here. But you guys, thank you so much for coming out and being part of this. Um, I'm gonna do what I always do and pull up my credits. But first of all, first and foremost, huge shout out and thank you to Psycho Nacho Man and, um, and also Scottman895 for the gift subs today. Bringing me three over my goal. Um, you guys are so kind. Thank you so much. And everybody else should show up in the credits for doing um, extra generous things. So let me go ahead and pull this up. And then we'll start calling it a day to this fabulous music. Okay, here we go. So thank you so much, as always, you guys, for being so active and supportive of my streams. Thank you, Casanova, so much for the donation. Thank you to Armand2017, Prince Hedgehog, and Casanova64 for the bits. To my mods, Odie and Pixie, who are here currently, and to all the new follows, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. To um, the subs and give subs, thank you so much, you guys. Welcome back to the Ba family, you guys, and thank you for all the hosts, and uh, thank you Faye and Alan Edgehead for the raids. Very much appreciated. And thank you Psycho for the Jigglypuff song. We love a, a good song. So, um, huge shout out to all of you in the chat as well. Thank you for staying active and just um, helping this community to grow and flourish, and it's just so much fun to have a conversation going in the chat. I really appreciate it. And then also anybody who was lurking as well. I appreciate your viewership. Means a lot to me. Um, you guys are awesome too. So thank you so much. And shout out to everybody watching on YouTube as well. Because I, I, I don't want to forget about you guys. Um, and then also, lastly, I want to shout out my Patreon family for the month of November. These are all my $5 plus patrons who help me to continue to create content as... Uh, my job like this just makes a world of difference for me so thank you so much for your extra support and love and then um, I'm just gonna do a couple quick plugs you can see Jilly she passed out back there I'm gonna do a couple quick plugs first of all this is my link tree it has all of my social media on it I'm on Twitter and Instagram pretty often active posting things and then um, especially Twitter and then I also have a discord uh, discord server if you want to join and connect with other people in the community and also I have my Etsy store which I'm currently there's your fabulous Cyrus bag if you are interested in Animal Crossing merch specifically I have Cyrus and Rossetti available currently and those are the last two there were like all of them that have ever been made into amiibos and now it's just down to those two but um then I also um, have a YouTube channel where I back up all of my streams. All of that is linked on uh, Linktree as well as the Patreon if you're interested in that. I stream Monday, Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern and Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I will be live this Friday with a very special uh, Mario Party Superstar stream where we're doing an online Patreon challenge um, as brought to you by my patron, Scottman895. It's going to be chaos, so I'm very excited for that. Um, and then uh, probably more Mario Party on Saturday night as well. That is the plan at the moment. You guys take care of yourselves. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for your support. Let me see if there's anybody on here that we can forward the love to via raid. And if not, then we tried. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah. Wow, the chickens. The chickens are on. Um... 
You know what? Becky had like the best house though. Like, let's be real. Let's just, let's show some love to the, the real life chickens, uh, honestly. Like, let's do Becky love chicken concert. We love it. And if you have any hour, if you have any of the chicken emotes from this channel, then you can also use that. So, um, but you guys, thank you again so much for all of your support and love and kindness. It really means a lot to me. And have a great uh, rest of your week, everyone. Let me just get this going here. There it is. All right. Well, thank you guys so much again. Have a wonderful rest of your week and take care, everybody. I will see you Friday. Bye.